So we got to dig in, but the missus has gone to Canadian Tire to pick up some stuff. So I snuck off to do one of these videos because I got something on my mind that uh, is weighing heavy on me. And of course, it comes from the Facebooks and comments made by people. Not smart and intelligent people, but people. And uh, this is one I read, and I, I want to get a take from you folks on what you guys think about this. Okay, people that watch these videos. <laughs> And he was serious, by the way, so this wasn't like a joke sort of post. And it went, If you make money in a covers band, a tribute band, or you're a side person, you are not a real musician. You are an entertainer. Know the fucking difference. So I thought, okay, all these guys that we see that are playing with internationally renowned artists that are playing on records, like... The guy who plays with Alan Jackson, not Brett Mason, but his touring guy that he's had all those years. They're not musicians. People that own their craft day after day, practice after practice, hour after hour after hour. They're not a musician. Because according to him, the only people that are true musicians are people that write their own music. Now, writing a good song... It's not easy. Not everybody can do it, because if they could, everybody would be famous, and everybody would be on Spotify now. Back in my day, you'd be on the radio. Um, well, everybody is on Spotify, I guess, really, even people that aren't internationally famous. But you can put your music there. But you know what I'm saying. You'd, you'd have some sort of celebrity from it, okay? Uh, just because you wrote a song doesn't mean it was a good one. Keep that in mind as well. Uh, you know, you can sit down and, and write... <laughs> and sing songs about how your dad didn't buy the right Pokemon cards when you were 12. You know, that's, that's bullshit, right? So, basically, I thought to myself, I used to write songs, and I used to be in bands that wrote songs and took care of our own music and did all that. And once again, I got tired of not getting paid, and I got to a point where I realized, okay, you know, I realized it a long time ago, nothing was going to, you know, probably ever come to fruition in, in a sense of being able to support myself off of original music, okay? Like, that was never something that was in the back of my mind for a very long time. Maybe when you're, like, 15, you might think, wow, I can do it. And then when you're 18 and 19, you're like, no, I can't do it. Um, but my dream was to continue playing music, okay? I don't consider myself less of a musician because I don't play covers anymore. And I don't consider somebody less of a musician because they play their own music. No matter what type of music you're playing, if you own your craft, you craft your art, you own your skills, that's it, you're a musician. If you sit down every day and you learn how to play something different and you progress as, as a person on your instrument and you get better each and every day, then you're a musician, okay? So that's my opinion, and it's just my opinion. You may have a different opinion, and if you do, be respectful about it. And, you know, you want to say, well, you agree with this person and that, you know, you're not a musician if you're being a lounge act, and that's fine. But, like, do it in a sensible manner. For one thing, uh, you know, just say it takes a lot to craft a song. It does. If you want to craft a really great song, it takes a long time. Anybody familiar with Ron Hines, look him up on YouTube. The guy was a, a, a prolific songwriter. 
Um, I once heard another artist who lived with Ron Hines for a while uh, say that Ron wrote songs, he might actually agonize over one word in the song. Like there might be a word in the song and every time he read it, he'd be like, no, I need a better word here. Not like a line, but a word might set him off. That's craft and inert. That's being brilliant. That's creating, that's being an artist, that's being whatever you want, like, you know. But like I said, just throwing like chords together. I'll leave you with this one, and I've told this story once before on my channel. Is uh, I went and saw an original band one time. They were a hardcore band with one of my buddies. They played one of their own songs, and they stopped three or four times because they couldn't get the intro right. And the song was in drop D, and it was all screaming. You might be into that, but like, even if you are into that, come on. Your own song, having to stop it three times because you couldn't play the intro. Is that a musician? Anyway, it's all open to whatever. Uh, thank you guys once again for the support. I really, really appreciate it. And um, please subscribe to my channel, I'll beg. Uh, we're getting up there now, and I think the cat wants to be fed. She's going to jump up here any minute. Anyway, I better go because she's getting angry. All right, guys, thanks.